there are five unsolved problems keeping robots from actually working in your house. Problem one, hands. Robot hands have all the finesse of those carnival claw machines. Watch a robot try to pick up an egg. It's like watching King mm. Kong try to pet a hamster. Your three-year-old knows how hard to squeeze a juice box without creating a crime scene. A robot turns it into a juice explosion. Problem two is learning. You tell a human to clean your room and they understand context. Tell a teenager to clean your room and they shove everything under the bed. Tell a robot to clean your room and it's going to vacuum your cat. Furry debris located. Initiating suction protocol. Robots need explicit instructions to understand what clean means, what a room is, and why your cat isn't trash. Problem three is battery life. Boston Dynamic Spot runs for 90 minutes. That's a $75,000 robot that needs more naps than a newborn. My calculator from middle school still works. Haven't changed the battery since Tupac was alive. Sergeant Johnson, 90 minutes for 75 grand. Sounds like my divorce lawyer. Problem four is perception. These robots have more cameras than a Kardashian wedding. Still can't find the door. Show them a glass door and watch them question reality. Bring a mirror into a room and suddenly your robot is having philosophical debates. Who are you? Are you my digital twin? Problem five is economics. Most robots are economically stupider than NFTs. The cheapest full humanoid is the Unitree R1 at $5,900. That seems reasonable until you realize it's sold like airline flights. Technically true, but useless without all the add-ons. Boston Dynamics Spot costs $75,000. For that price, you could hire someone to be a dog for two years. My Uncle Jerome does it for free. He already bites strangers and pees outside. So here's the reality. Your phone has more processing power than the Apollo missions. But some robots still can't tell the difference between the moon and a traffic light, a baby and a burrito, your grandma and a coat rack. Until we solve these five problems, your Roomba is still the MVP. It only goes in circles, but at least it doesn't try to fold your cat. Automatic. Addison.